Hey guys, I think it's time. Time for what, Blo? The Hopia Challenge. Whoa! Hi guys, my name is Kaysen and welcome back to Live in the Villa Tagalog. Today we're doing a Hopia Challenge. I'm here with Christina and Ruin. All right, which one shall we do first? No, the I'm... Hopia Buko Pandan. Wait, wait, wait. Cut. Do we have any background on Angbitin? All right, so fun fact time. These Hopia are manufactured by Angbitin, which from my understanding is the best and only place to get your Hopia from. I remember when we went and visited their building and it is in Binondo, um, Manila, which is where the oldest Chinatown is literally outside of China and it happens to be in, in Manila. Um, but Angby Tin set up like a small stall there back in 1912 and they sold Hopia, uh, Mooncakes and Tikoi were like their main specialties and they've grown since then into like this huge, it's a 15 story corporate headquarters. It was like a shopping mall. It was amazing and ridiculous all at the same time to see there was literally just like mooncakes it was uh i think it was kind of like you reach in and just grab them do you remember when we were in there all throughout the store i think they were even doing tours we saw like a tour group that had come through while we were in there we were lucky enough to find some of these guys at our local asian market at um 88 ranch we got one of every flavor that I could find while we were there in the store. What are we starting with, Kuya? Mm, start mm. with this. Kopia Mungo. Mungo? What is Mungo made from? Mung bean. Mung bean. Oh, there's four in there, perfect. One for Roro. Mm. One for Kuya. Oh, that's cold. Oh. Um, hold on, hold on. I want the little one. Yeah. So we actually changed our mind. We decided to take one of these guys right here and cut it into four little pieces because we got a lot of hopia to eat today. So we're first starting off with the hopia mango. Kuya. Mmm. This is really good. It reminds me of the mochi that I had. It was filled with mung beans, I think, maybe. Oh, mochi, mm -hmm. okay. Rara? No, it's okay. My turn? I just love hopia. <laughs> yeah. They're so good. It's a simple flavor, the mung bean. It kind of reminds me of bean sprouts. I think those are mung beans. I think they're the same thing. It has a little bit of that flavoring to it. You wouldn't expect it to be in a pastry, but I it fits. I only taste yeah. the nine. <laughs> okay. Not much. You don't like it? No? Not your style, huh? I like your Cheetos. All right. Yes, it's kind of rather moist, kind of. So let's leave these for last. Mm -hmm. these are, I think these are new flavors where they mix them. They're like half and half. All right, so we're going to do this. Hope you have kundo next. Winter melon. That's my favorite milk Wait, tea. So it looks like on here there are sesame seeds. Sesame seeds? Yeah. Oh, sugar. That's I mean sesame Open. seeds. Open sesame. Oh, you're right, Kuya. Sesame seeds. Cut. So, oh, share it. These are different because they're coated in sesame seeds. It's not, I don't normally see that with Hopia. Um, and it looks like they're toasted a little bit as well. Yeah, the texture on this is, the filling mm -hmm. is very soft. Yeah. I'm just gonna go and ahead. Color-wise, what is it? It's like a, sort of like a yellow, beigey kind of mm. color. Yes. Oh, beigey flavor. Yeah. Smell that, smell that. Those, those are definitely sesame seeds. Yeah, that's what I smell. Smell so, Nuttiness to it. Yeah. All right. Munching. Munching. Yeah, it's like, it's soft mm -hmm. and it's so chewy, but it's not chewy. Yeah, it just kind of falls into your mouth. It melts and melts. Like polvoron. <laughs> yes, like polvoron. Yeah. The I, crust on here, it's like a pie crust, but from, with the sesame seeds, it's just really different. Ten, hey, Daddy, have you had one with sesame seeds before? From, All right. from 10 to zero, um, I would like to give a three. You don't All like right. that one either? The Hopia Buko hey, Pandan. I called it three. It says, it's screw me. pine leaves cake. Nope, not going for it. Buko Pandan? Yes, screw pine leaves cake. That's what it's called. Mm. 
That doesn't make sense. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> look at this. So amazing. Let me see. Let me see here. Look at it. You can finish cutting and I'll show this one. Right there? Yeah, so cool. I Look at this. It is like jade green. Ooh, that is, that's a perfect way to describe that. It literally looks like a piece of jade. Hmm. Wait. No, that looks like that jade That tastes emerald. just like pine leaves. Oh my goose. Yeah. Oh no, really? this looks it like jade. This is like coconut? This looks like jade. It tastes like both. Jade emerald. Oh my goose. I this don't know. This is jade emerald. Yeah, looks. You get the leafiness from it. it didn't, and it's just so refreshing. And it's so easy to bite through. Yeah. Mm. I think I see what you're saying. It's that pandan leaf. It doesn't have the same nuttiness as like the buko pandan juice mm -hmm. or like a pandan flavored pastry. Instead, it has a leafiness. A leafiness, yes. Herbal. I would wait yeah, that seven. Herbal. Oh, you like You like it? that one? All right. What's next, Kuya? Mm. Kopia Ube. Hey. Is the puppy waiting for Ube drops? Okay, let's see what it looks like. So the outside of a oh. Hopia. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to describe what the outside of a Hopia <clears throat> looks like. It literally looks like a little pie crust, almost like it's um the filling is just wrapped in a hole, but it's not very thick at all. It's like just the I right like thickness. And it's yeah. so purple inside. I know. Look at this. Just look at it. Hey, Tom, I'm trying Ube. You're gonna try ube today? This? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember how we ate the, um... That is what was it undescribable. Called? You cannot... You, I don't know how to say it. You cannot describe it. It is just perfect. Rowan? I can't describe it. I was just about to eat it. I cannot describe the taste at all. <laughs> he takes the teeniest, tiniest little mouse bite. I would wait that. Sorry, but... A two? You didn't like it. <laughs> Still can't do the ube thing? Nope. nope. No ube for Roro. Ro. But they not be ube today. No mm. sense. I <laughs> but my favorite but still ube, like... my favorite ube one was the one we did from the previous episode. I just like how this is like the filling is so squishy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. All right, so this ube, same thing. I understand why you say indescribable because it's not like other ubes that we've had, it was mm -mm. sweeter. And probably because it Whoa. melts in your mouth so easily, we're not used to that. We're used to having, when we have ube, it's typically in a pastry. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm choosing the ube queso. The cheese So, ube. this one, I'm out. Do it. I wonder if this is a new, a new thing or a new flavor that they're doing. Um, but with the ube queso, let me see. Hmm. I wonder how we need to cut it so that we can see it both. Hey, no, no. Yay, I did it! Whoa, ha, ha, look at Whoa. this. Purple and orange inside. Purple and oh. orange. Okay, I'm gonna go for the part with the most cheese. Oh. How does it feel to taste? That doesn't taste like cheese. No, it's probably like the cheese ice cream didn't taste like cheese. It tastes, I forgot what those pastries are that I had, but it tastes just like this. <laughs> Where was that pastry had at? 88, when we would get the ube pastries. All right, right. look! Look at this ginormous Cheeto. Mm. It's mutated, see? Are you thinking the bibinka cupcake from Trini? I really don't think I'm a fan of that combination. Pretty they good. didn't, the way that it all melts in your mouth and then it kind of just comes into one whole flavor, mm -hmm. but it never really does. It's still very much two separate flavors that you can taste, mm -hmm. but it's like confusing because it's all in one. It's weird. Um, I don't know if I like that one, to be honest with you. So, so. All right, up next is gonna be... The ube pastillas. What is pastillas, honey? It's pastillas. Oh, pastillas. And there are two L's, it's a Y. What What are pastillas? Isn't those the little candies? Yeah, ma. Did oh. you do it? You did it. Mm, so, this this just looks like a light brown. No, that looks kind of like a golden. Yeah, light brown. There's an Easter egg in this video. Hmm. And the filling is so chewy, but not chewy. And then when you get this, it kind of gives it a crispy crunchiness. Mine looks pretty soft. I don't know how to pronounce it. So, I've never had a pastillas. Mm-hmm. Pastillas. Mm -hmm. But this tastes like some sort of candy to me. 
and sweet in that kind of way. Yeah, it reminds me of, so when I was a kid, we used to go to Mexico and they had these, I remember them, they were kind of like cone shaped and it was literally almost like a block of sugar. I remember it being very, very sweet and that's what that brown bit reminds me of. My feelings about the ube, the hopia ube, because the ube tastes different than what I'm used to, I think that's kind of what's messing with the flavors of everything else. But I definitely can taste the pastillas. Mm -hmm. has a very sweet flavor to it. Final one, the ube lanka. Here you go, Papa. Oh, thank you. Man, this one is hard. Oh, I was so close to not getting it. All right, you go first. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. I think this one is gonna be the favorite. Mm-hmm, it's like jackfruit. That does it for me. The Lanka flavor. It tastes so fresh. It's like refreshing. Mm-hmm. It feels like candy. It tastes like candy jackfruit in a, in like a way. Candy jackfruit? Mm-hmm. And when, when I think of jackfruit, I think the, probably the best comparison. It has like a sweetness like a peach does. Um, that kind of comes off right away, but it's also very subtle in the way of like a pear. Obviously the consistency of this is different than like an actual piece of jackfruit. Yeah. But it's, I'm Jack trying to are like crunchier. Like yeah. Crunchier. Yeah. We're, well, we're used to getting them like um, lanka strings and things. Yeah. But an actual jackfruit, I don't think we've ever cut one open and eaten one like fresh. That could be an episode. Maybe. All right, so now it's time for our favorites. And you know what we're gonna do this time? I know you're behind the camera, but you tried every single one, so I bet our viewers would be curious to know what your favorite is, sweetheart. The jackfruit. Yeah. But, but I'm biased, because that's my favorite to begin with. My favorite was the buko bandans. Yes, so was, my, so was mine. The refreshingness of the buko pandan one mm -hmm. tasted just like pandan leaves. It was so good. To me, it tasted just like a watery leaf. leaf. And a watery leaf is very yummy if you've ever tried one. So for me, um, probably the lanka too. I'm gonna have to go with that one. I, do they have ones that are just lanka flavored? If anybody has recently been to the Angby Tin in Manila, please leave us a comment and let us know um, if they have an all jackfruit flavor. Yes. Because I think that one is what I would like the most. I just can't, the ube is too different for me. Um, Way too different. Yeah. It messes up the flavor, but with the jackfruit, the sweetness of the ube mm -hmm. went so well with the jackfruit. Yeah, it did. Kind of funny story. We had originally gone down quite some time ago to National City and we went to Ching's Famous, Famous Hopia in National City. And we wanted to pick up some of their Hopia obviously because they are well known for that dish. That's pretty much the only thing they produce at that store. And we bought, what, a dozen? Yeah. I think we had, we, we picked up 12 uh, different flavors. <laughs> we we left watching, them on the counter. We were in watching the, TV. You guys were watching TV. We left them on the counter in the kitchen. The dog ate them, all 12 of them. We came in and she was licking the styrofoam clean. And so we never got to try those Hopia, yeah. so hopefully we'll get down oh, to Oh yeah, I remember! Again, one of these days to grab some of those Hopia. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed us having and trying all these new Hopias. And we hope that you will keep on tuning in. If, uh, like and subscribe. And in got the next time. <laughs> in got the next time. Bye bye. Hey Rowan, what? I think it's time. For what? The Hopia Challenge. Hey guys, welcome back to Live in the Villa Tagalog. Uh, today. <laughs> <laughs> this is my side snack. <laughs> okay, time for specials! I said cut, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's cute. I'm sorry. I had the dish, <laughs> but it is really bad, but that's in like an old <laughs> Bah, 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 that's all, folks.